guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's look, I have used two of the Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes and the new Jeffree Star Metallic Liquid Lip. I'm going to include this as my third Valentine's Day look, but make this more of a sultry nighttime glam. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as well so you can see whatever I film next. And if you want to see how I got this look, then continue watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Welcome back, guys. So I'm starting off with putting on the Body Shop uh, Facial Mist in the Vitamin E range. And then to hydrate under my eyes, it benefits Oola Lift. And then for my facial primer, I'm using Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm Insensitive because it's got glycerin in it, so it'll make the foundation stick to my skin. So for foundation, I'm using Milani's Perfect and Conceal in two shades, Golden Tan and Light Tan, because Golden Tan was too orange. So I'm just dotting that all over my skin, and then I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender just to blend it all in and making sure that I go up towards the hairline and move it down the bottom of my neck as well. So to colour correct the darkness that is under my eyes, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's A Dark Peach and I'm using my fingers first just to blend the colour in because I think the warmth of your finger makes the blendability look more natural and then I'll just go in with my beauty blender to blend in a bit more and pick up any excess product that I may have. So for the eyes, like I already introduced in the intro, I'm going to use two of Urban Decay's eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I'm using is the Ultimate Basics palette from the Naked range and the colour that is going on my crease is the colour Faith. So I'm just blending this all throughout my crease and just bringing it in towards the inner corner of my eye as well and just smoking it towards the brows too. So I'm going to clean up under the brows using the colour Pre-Game which is a yellow toned eyeshadow and this will just erase any of um, the colour faith that I've applied so it doesn't look too muddy or messy. So I'm going to just blend those two colours in using the same eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to pick up a more smaller dome blender brush and I'm using the colour Lockout just to deepen up the inner corner and outer corner just to prepare it for the halo eye. So as you can see I'm just blending that all in together using circle emotions and windshield wiper emotions at the top of the eye. And then again using the brush earlier just to blend those two colours in so that we got a seamless blend. Now for the darker colour in the inner corner and outer corner of the eye is the colour Lethal. So I'm using more of a smaller defined crease brush and this one is from Makeup Geek. So I apply it first onto the outer and inner corner and then I'll slowly work in to blend the two colours in and the middle. And then I'll pick up the smaller round brush again just to blend it. So for the next eyeshadow is the Moon Dust palette and this is the shade Granite or Granite. I think. So this is more of a silvery glitter colour and I did apply the Lit Cosmetics glitter glue first and then applied the eyeshadow because I think it works a lot better and you get a lot of pigmentation too. Now throughout this process I did realise once the glue has become tacky and dry it works better. So I'm just going to use that lethal colour again and just blend those two colours in together so the glitter is not just a block colour in the middle of the eye. So I'm just going to clean up the eyeshadows and create a create <laughs> create a winged eye effect with the Maybelline Anti-Age Rewind Concealer. So I'll apply that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. And then I'm just going to blend all of that out with my damp beauty blender. So before I set under my eyes, I'm just going to blend it out again just so that I don't set any of the creases. And the powder I'm using is from Collection and this is the loose powder in barely there. So once I've set it down a little I'll then apply a bit more right in the inner corner of my eye where I get a lot of the crease and just let that bake for a little bit as well. And then I'll set the rest of the concealer with the excess powder left from the sponge. Now to set the rest of the face I'm using Rimmel London's pressed powder in the shade Warm Beige. 
So I'm just patting it on the skin first and then later on I'll go in and use circle emotions just to blend it further and take off the bake that I've got under my eyes. So then for bronzer I'm using the Makeup Revolutions Golden Sugar Palette and in there is a brown bronzy shade. So I've just picked that up with my Real Techniques cheek brush and I'm just blending that on the cheekbones and underneath the jawline and also just meeting it a little bit on the temples and on the forehead too. So now I'm going to bake under the cheekbones and again I'm going back to that collection loose powder and just using my damp beauty blender again and just cutting the cheekbones so I get a bit more of a structure to my face so I'm making sure the blusher didn't blusher, making sure the bronzer didn't go too down. So once you've got your white beard you can then apply your highlighter and I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. So I'm just applying that on the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, above my brows and then down the bridge of my nose. And then I'll pick up my beauty blender again and just set that in place so the powder doesn't look too powdery. And then for blusher, I'm using Gingerly also by MAC as well. So I'm just packing that on first and then I'll go back in and just swoop it across the face going up towards the temple. And with the same brush, when I have less product, I'm just going to blend everything in but at the same time I'm going to dust off the bake underneath my cheekbones as well. So going back to the eyes, I'm using Faith from the palette again to smoke out my lower lash line and then I'll go out, go out, and then I'll go in with Lethal just on the outer corner towards the middle of the eye just to bring some colour from the crease that we've got on the top eyes. And I'm just going to blend that out again using the same brush from earlier. Now with this smoky look, I wanted a bit of light to be coming into my eyes. So I put in a bit of blow from the Naked Basics palette just to bring more light to the inner corner of the eyes. And then I went back in with Lethal as well just because it looked too bright and just blended those two colours in. Now for liner, I didn't want a thick line, I just wanted something just to line the top lash line and I'm using a gel liner from Rimmel London and it was quite hard to be quite honest to apply this liner because glitter isn't a smooth surface so just persevere and just go as slow as you can and it works better as well if your eyeliner is not dry so here I am just applying that along the lash line and not doing a full on wing or anything because I have got a halo eye so I wanted the halo eye to be the star of the show. So for my lashes I'm just going to excuse me just curl them first and then I'm going in with Maybelline's Lash Sensational so I'm just moving the brush upwards and curling it as well as much as I can and then for my lower lash line I'm using Maybelline's Push Up Angel and I'm just wriggling this brush just so that I get a lot of the product on the lower lash line and then to set my brows, it's Rimmel London's a Brow This Way in the shade Dark, just making sure that they stay in place and don't move throughout the day. So here is a close-up of the eyes. As you can see, the start of the show is the Halo Eye, which is the grey glitter from the Moondust palette. And then for the lips, I use Jeffree Star's Metallic liquid lipstick in the shade no tea no shade and um, this basically is the end of the video guys seeing as I haven't got any posing uh, clips if you liked this video then please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon bye